hello everybody welcome into rock painting 101 i'm trying something a little bit different today so that i can actually chat with you while you're watching the video um so i'm going to create our witch's cauldron here um i'm still going to do it in real time so none of it will be edited or anything like that however i'm going to be able to chat with you in the comments below so as you ask questions um, as you're talking below i'll actually be able to interact with you all and see the questions live and answer them live in real time so i'm just going to go ahead and get started on this fun um, rock project so the first thing we have to do is make the base cauldron shape so we're going to do a wide oval for the top of our pot like so we want to make it big enough that we can actually see some of our bubbling potion inside now we're going to have you can make your pot any shape you really like if you've got something specific in mind i'm just going with the very classic it's going to kind of bend in just a smidge at the rim and then kind of bulge out at the bottom like so and you can always perfect your shape we're just getting our basic outline on here like so and then we're going to give a couple feet because there's always little feet on our cauldrons like that and then if you would like to you can add a handle that goes up and over the top um today i'm not going to add that just because i want to have the bubbling um, potion in the middle here so i'm just going to go ahead and color this in black Right here and we'll get the the rim of our cauldron made we'll give it a little bit of a gray highlight that will kind of give it a little bit of depth I'm also going to thicken up this line in the back just a smidge I'll probably run into it a little bit just like that there we go so we've got our basic, basic shape going here. And now we're gonna start adding in our witch's brew. So I didn't grab, I think I want a brown here as well. We're gonna add a stick in there because usually they've got something to uh, stir there, which is brew. So I'm just gonna place that in here now just so I have an idea of where I want it to go. Go ahead, feel free to go right through that black will give your stick maybe a little bit more texture anyways doodle off a little bit of it and go back in there one more time with your brown brown and look at that looks like a nice old wooden spoon and again just doodle I just doodle off the tip of my pen on my scratch paper now we're gonna go in here with our green start filling in our potion I'm filling this in. I've got to ask. I I joined a few Halloween groups on Facebook, and a lot of them asked, "What's your favorite Halloween movie?" And I have to say, my absolute favorite Halloween movie is actually Hocus Pocus. It's fun. I can watch it with my kids. They really enjoy it. You know, it's got some great cast to it, and it's a lot of fun. So. If you feel like sharing you can share what your favorite one is down below so I pulled a little bit of the black when I was going around which is totally fine I'm actually gonna go in I grabbed my light green but I almost want it to contrast a little bit more so I'm gonna have a little bit of yellow swirl in here like this just to kind of give it some layers and texture just make sure that you clean off your tip it's okay that it gets dirty as long as you just clean it off see Whoop. Just don't flip your rock paint side down. That's always a, not a great idea. All right, now we're going to have some bubbles that are kind of coming up out of our brew here. Um, so I'm going to let this area dry so that it actually stands out a bit when I add them. But I'm going to have a couple even that are kind of popping up into the air here. They're making quite the potion here. So I'm just going to kind of right up to this edge. I'm going to have a big one right here on the top. That black's still maybe a little damp, but that's okay. A couple bubbling, and I'm going to add a couple bubbling in my pot once it's a little bit more dry because I don't want to um, disturb my swirls there. 
But I will go in with my yellow and do a little highlight. I'm using all 3M pens today. Um, if you've got 1Ms, it might be easier to add your little highlights with that, but for this one, I think it's okay. They can get in there and sneak in a little bit, like so. Now, while that pot's drying, I am gonna go in with my gray, and I'm just gonna kind of give the idea of the rim along the top here. So I'm just gonna kind of almost create like an outline. Just very simple like that. See how that adds just that little bit of dimension to it? Like that. All right, and then I'm gonna kind of give it a little highlight there at the bottom as well. And it's not a lot, but it's just enough to kind of give that lip and edge. And I don't like how thick it is, so I'm gonna go back in with my black in a little bit and make it a little bit thinner so it's a little less noticeable. Looks like our potion is dry, so I'm gonna go in with my green and add a couple more bubbles right in the pot. Just a couple here. We got a nice bubbling brew of something fun here. Ooh, get that off here. And our little bit of yellow to those bubbles. Like so. And that's basically it. I'm gonna go back in with my black here really quick once my gray is dry. It looks pretty dry. And I'm gonna thin out that line. So I'm just gonna go right up underneath it. Like so. I'm off the screen today, guys, I'm sorry. Just like so. And that kind of thins it out a little bit. I didn't, I didn't want it to be overly thick. It's almost like a little highlight on the rim of the pot. There we go. Much better. So super simple, really quick, another fast, fun little Halloween rock idea. Um, if you really wanted to add some more details, there's a few extra things you could do. Um, you could add in some flames underneath, like it's sitting over a fire. Um, you could even have a witch in there stirring her little potion or cauldron. So um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video today, everybody. It's fun to chat in the comments, and that way I'm not missing your guys's. Uh, questions and things like that. So um, I will make sure to link to the pens um, so that you can grab pens if you need pens. Um, and I'll also leave a link to the rest of our Halloween ideas because we have lots of fun Halloween rocks we've done so far. So thanks everybody for watching and sharing and commenting and we'll see you all soon with another rock painting idea. Bye. Bye.